We go now to Facebook where Amberly C writes, I took my almost three month old son to the doctor for a checkup today. I made sure I was as non-defensive as possible when opting out for vaccines, but no. He got mad right away and drilled me, quote, you shouldn't believe everything you read on the internet, and so on. And this is something you, you get from doctors who are trying to push drugs on you or vaccines on you or whatever it is. They want you to follow their advice. Of course, they make more money when they get kickbacks from drug companies. You have to be an intelligent consumer and not just go, oh, this is a this is a government licensed approved doctor business and he's in a white coat and I'm just going to do whatever he says. That's how people end up on, you know, more prescriptions than, than are healthy for them and end up with greater health complications. And instead of looking at the root causes of so many diseases and actually getting exercise or fixing their diets or, or just living a healthy lifestyle, they end up getting pills for their problems. Mind you, all I said was, I think we will wait on the vaccines until we're sure it's what's best for our baby. Like, hey, we want to do some research. We want to, you know, we want to be in, informed consumers. We want to make sure that the services you're providing are of actual value to the, to us. What happens when someone, you know, say, when, when you're when you're dealing with someone who you're you're thinking about patronizing a business, a, a, a individual, whatever the case may be, and and they say, you know, um, no, you sh you really shouldn't believe anybody else. You shouldn't, you know what? I you shouldn't do your research. You should just trust me. It's easier. To me, that's it's a good sign you're getting ripped off. And I, this is such a good story to share because it, it, it's, I think, indicative of, of so many conversations that, that Americans are having with their doctors every day. So I suppose he is used to being argumentative when discussing the topic. Maybe he's the type to always have to be right. I don't know. No, he's, he's the kind of person who's pulling one over on you. And this is really shameful that doctors in America have, have come to this. Doctors as, as a profession should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, as an industry for, for what the medical industry in America has become. You know, you can you can blame it on government. You can blame it on, on the pharmaceutical industry. And yes, they, they all bear some responsibility. But the doctors have, you know, as, as, a, as a whole, really bought into this and, and fed this dynamic so that people don't trust doctors the way they, they could or the way they would want to. Instead, we have to turn to, you know, to the internet. He's saying how polio could kill him. So I asked him what the chances of my son getting polio were. So what does he do? What does the doctor do? To which he looks up on the internet and surprise, surprise, no cases since 1979. So, so the doctor is not even competent enough to be able to make the case right there to the patient, to the parent for himself. He turns to the internet. Right. So he got mad and told me that he doesn't see unvaccinated kids and his job is to make sure children are healthy and my job was to trust him. <laughs> yeah. Your job is to trust me. See, now doctors sound more like government agents than people that are trying to heal you or make you healthy. And sadly, that's the reality for a lot of doctors in America. Trust him? The man that told me I shouldn't believe what I read on the internet looks up answers he's wrong about on the internet? What a joke. Seriously. Man, were you saying that people should be shot for I passing said out he those needs to be fat yes. flyers? You know, he was filming everybody talking about, get the camera off me, dude. Get the camera off me. Social changes he wanted and trying to get things equal among everyone.